Hello YouTube, it's Nicholas speaking. Thank you for joining me in another super cool and exciting tutorial. Today we are working in OceanWP team and I'm going to show you what we are going to create. This. This is so-called hero section with the firm, with the company with the fictional name. It is called Gravitarium or Gravitarium. In the top section, we have top bar built in Elementor in one not specific way, but one interesting way. And then we are going to load it to a bar of Ocean WP team. Here we have the social links, then needed information just like phone number, email, and working hours. Beneath that we have the contact with nice hover animation, search bar, logo is there. And let me show you the entrance animation. This one. Okay. Before we start, you are welcome subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Don't forget to smash the bell because you will be notified right away about new tutorials. Check the description because down there you will find some cool tutorials about Tobar in Astra, in Ocean WP team and so on. Let's go. Okay guys, I already created, almost created one page. It is called hero section with top bar. You name it as you wish. Down there, let's check full width. Disable the margins. In header, it's fine everything, but let's disable the title and let's disable the footer widgets area. Click on publish. Okay, then let's go. First, I want to, to create the top bar. Go to appearance, not appearance, go to team panel and my library. For the showing purpose, I already created the top bar and there click to create new. Template name will be top bar tutorial. Here, let's check the same settings just like for page. Disable the title and disable the footer widgets area. Yeah, we, we can publish it. Then click here to edit with Elementor. Okay, here let's add one new section with two columns and set full width for content Content width without gaps. Height will be default, vertical align, it can be middle. And let's stretch this section. Okay. In the first one, I'm going to add the social icons. Here it will be first is Twitter, next is Facebook, and then here. We need Instagram icon. Then go to alignment and click on align left those icons. But first, uh, let's go in this at uh, these six dots and for boxed and for content width. Let's make it to be boxed with 1200 in the width because this is the width of our container and in our home page here will be the logo. Okay, now click on the icons there, go to style and set the custom color. Primary color will be with 100% transparency. And before that, sorry, here let's change the background color for complete section. It will be triple trees. Okay. Go to our, click on our icons. Primary color is uh, transparent and for secondary color, Secondary, I think it is, yeah, it is white. In size, we can 
change the size of our icon. The size is 15. Okay, and spacing between is 10. Now let's change the icon cover. For example, let's change the hover animation to be push, just like this. Okay, in the right column, let's add the icons list icon. All of these elements are the feature of Elementor 3. You don't pro version to have this section, these options. Okay. Now let's check for layout to be in line. Then let's remove those two. And for first item, let's change the text here. And down there, let's set the link. Okay. And change the icon. Type the phone and choose the this phone icon from Fantasm Library. We have our first icon, but first let me change the size. Change the size. And this will be the color. Color is black, and on the hover, color is triple A, size is 16 pixel and alignment is right or without alignment. Okay, and for text, let's change the text color. Later on we will change the typography, but now I only change the colors because I want to see it better. Go to content to add another two items. Let's copy. Now let's go on style. Here we can add the space between our list. We can add the divider. Okay. See, this is the spacing. For example, let's add on 30 for icon our alignment everything is fine for text also it is okay but for hover let's change triple a and for typography let's add the Montserrat font okay Icons and our informations are ready. Click on update. Now let's go to our customizer here in appearance. And there, what we need to do. First, let's change the, this is homepage settings and choose our new hero section with top bar. Yes, click on publish. And here, but, and there go to top bar of this is top bar of Ocean WP team in the content and load our top bar tutorial template. This is our top bar. Okay, click on publish. Now from there, go to the we need to find our page page for this tutorial it's called hero animation no hero section with top bar click on edit and here edit with elementor let's add the section let me see here we have also already we have our menu with the logo. So we need to add our image, background image. Click add new section, then click here uh, for one column. And let's change it to be full width without gaps and 
stretch section. Then on height, let's click on fit to screen and there in style, let's add our background image. I'm going to use this one. I will put link into description. I took it from Unsplash. For position, it will be center center without repeating and size will be cover. Okay, those are sections for Elementor Pro, but you can achieve all of this with just Elementor free. Okay, let's set the background overlay, not the image, click here and change the opacity of 0.65. Okay, now let's go on this nine dots and we are going to add this heading with text welcome to gravitarium gravitarium actually okay let's center it for the font style let's change to be mm, text color will be white in typography let's use I think this is the Latom font with font size of not 64, 54 or 44, no, 34, maybe, then change the weight, okay, and change the letter spacing, add the text editor, and paste in the, our text. Let's highlight this uh, word and add our in this one. Click on custom. Okay. Now let's go on style. Center our text. Color will be pure white. Here our font is Leto 64, weight is 800, and transform is uppercase. And last, we are going to add the button with text of our portfolio. Center it. Okay, then go to style, here in typography, check the same font, let me see the text, transformation is uppercase, and change the hover state, this is our color, first uh, let's change, let's set the border, Now click on hover. Actually, background color, we need this one. Completely transparent. Now we have our button. Okay, click on update. Now go to see preview. And uh, here we have our menu. Let me show you how you can change the header for Ocean WP team on your dashboard. Here on click on header, then go to general, and here I added I changed the style of header. I set the transparent and the height is 126. And in the top bar, one more thing, yeah. Here I uncheck this header border button. You see this line. I uncheck this, and in top bar. In general, by default, it is here these uh, eight pixels for bottom and top padding. I just remove it, and this is all. Oh, if you don't see your top bar, enable it here or in in the settings for our page. Okay, so this is our work so far. And I think I forgot one more detail. 
Yeah, here in header, click on menu, and down there you can add the position for your menu. Underline from left, and here you can change the color. Okay, when you do that, click on publish. Let's refresh our page. You can refresh it here also. And we have our logo, our menu with search bar and our main part. And let me add the animation. Click on advance, go to motion effect, entrance animation, fade in down and this one. Motion effect, fading up, also this button, fading up. Okay. With this, we cover all, completely our hero section, our page. One more thing, voila. I don't want to add the mobile response, the responsiveness part here because I don't want to set this tutorial to be too much long but I believe in you you have enough experience to do it yourself it is very easy with Elementor if you don't know how you can watch my previous tutorial about it let me show you some hint in hero in this page with Elementor settings just click on responsive mode click on tablet or mobile and you can change whatever you want. Also, the praxis for top bar is to be hide in the tablet and mobile view, but you can center it, you can change whatever you want. It is very intuitive and easy with Elementor page builder. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. I will be very happy if you subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are interested, watch my other tutorials about Topar. Thank you for watching me. If you have any questions, write down in the comments and see you next time. Bye bye.